If you're anything like me, you've been looking for spectacular clouds in Blender, and you've always came up empty-handed. Over the years, I've tried to find good clouds for Blender. Seriously, I've tried different add-ons, I've tried geometry node setups, I've tried different assets, I've tried different methods, and I could never, I just could never find out how to get really great looking clouds. Great looking ones. I've got decent ones, but never spectacular. But today we're checking out Real Cloud 1.0 generated. This Real Cloud add-on is incredible. And I'm not just saying that. Casey Sheep has came up with two of my favorite add-ons so far. Real Water. You can check out a video demonstration I did on that one a little bit ago. Now we've got a cloud generator and a cloud asset library which comes with 200 clouds that's incredible and it's only $16 so let's get into this thing and actually the basic is only six so still the deal in my opinion but if we check this thing out because that's really what matters right let's check this thing out I've kind of got a scene running already um, the way that this thing works I can literally convert anything in the scene I got Suzanne right here and you know what I'm just gonna look through my tab of way too many add-ons and then click convert to cloud once i open real cloud and look at this just like that one click we've got our mesh converted into a cloud and we can adjust these settings this may be a little performance intensive so keep that in mind i know that if you don't have a super bulky pc it might be a little difficult to get some vbd clouds cooking up <laughs> but as far as i've found this add-on is actually fairly fairly optimized and to my surprise, actually, usually, I mean, of course, for the longest time, it was like you could never use volume in your in your shape in your renders unless you wanted it to take overnight to render. But now, the way this add-on was developed, Real Cloud Shader optimizes it so that it renders quicker and it looks better than the typical principal volume shader it kind of gets rid of all that noise and to be honest i prefer the look anyways this kind of magical fluffy bright over the kind of gray and almost depressing grim look that the default principal volume shader gives you so that's a brief overview of how to convert things to clouds obviously there's a ton of other uh, settings we didn't even really touch, but you can check out the add-on on Blender Market for that. I haven't really played around with that much. I, I'm mainly focused on this asset library because this is incredible. Once you get this set up, it's literally drag and drop. You got these beautiful fluffy clouds. Look at this. Boom. I got a cloud. By the way, you might want to make sure that your viewport clipping is set to something over than the default value of a thousand because you're you're probably not going to be able to see your entire clouds when you zoom out so just you know add in an extra zero here enter and then you're good to go incredible fluffy clouds drag and drop and you can see it's not like taking me forever to render this although i do have a decent pc but you know this is real time like we're not having any performance issues and these are pretty big clouds the great thing about these clouds is because of the way that this set on or oh my god because of the way that this shader is set up you don't really need a super high sample count and that's typically what kills volume renders anyways is because you you have to turn up the sample so high otherwise your renders look insanely grainy or noisy and it, it just doesn't doesn't look good but with these i mean you might be sacrificing a little bit of realism with this scattering effect right here you crank this up and it renders fairly quickly it looks more magical and artistic in my opinion and also in some ways looks more like some real clouds now i'm not gonna lie to you and act like it, it it's very fast or anything it, it these are vbd clouds at the end of the day it's volume and volume can take a while to render so definitely keep that in mind let's just do a little bit of a render demonstration here i'm going to control alt zero on the number pad to look in the camera view and as you can see it's the same issue where we can't see our clouds uh it's probably a couple of things we're probably not in the right position with our camera nope it's the clipping okay so let's go to the camera and then go to lens under lens we have the clipping and if we turn that up now our clouds are there so typically 10,000 has done the job for me but obviously this depends on how far away your your clouds really are now here's the thing our renders they're gonna take a lot longer because it's volume and all the math and stuff that's going on here but we can keep our sample count pretty low and i'll show you what i mean if i just put this down to 10 samples which is incredibly low right this is 10 samples and it looks pretty damn good so it looks better than clouds that you've rendered at a thousand samples 
that look depressing and this is magical at 10 samples so i don't know just a rundown of sort of the optimization render time probably going to take a while but you can use a lower sample count and the denoiser i believe works really good on these as well so airplane trails i've always wanted to add these to my renders but just it kind of took too much time to do it but look at these we got chemtrails we got the government you know giving us chemtrails and all that stuff in like two seconds we got 100 airplanes that came through it's spectacular what are you doing don't waste your time check out this ad on real cloud on blender market and if you want to see this used in some artwork i have used it a couple of times but i'm gonna use this almost every day if you don't believe me you can follow me at jham.3d on instagram and i will be using the out of these clouds